It means that signal. We need more power. We are here at Gen Con at the Cryptozoic booth, and I am talking to Sarah Miguel. Sarah, you know, we're here at Gen Con. You guys got stuff going on all over the place. Lots of stuff. But what I'm interested in, what I want to know is what you've brought along here to Gen Con that's new and fun okay. and uh, what's going to be coming up. So let's talk about this here. All right. So a lot of our new stuff, uh, we've got Ghostbusters, which is probably one of our biggest titles that everyone's talking about. We oh, yeah. have. Yeah, I know yeah, you're back. I, I backed it myself. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we have a lot of the figures here. We have uh, some demo tiles. The dice are here. We have all the scenarios. We've been playing some demo scenarios, but for experienced gamers, people who, who might have played it at San Diego Comic Con, mm -hmm. they can come play other scenarios. Um, we're really allowing people to learn the game before it comes out. It's here in its entirety. Um, whether or not it's the final production copy or not, we're still waiting on some of that. It's, that game doesn't come out until October, so we got some time. Yes. Um, but yeah, everything's here for you guys to see and look at and play, and we're really excited about it. We've been getting a lot of good feedback, so we're definitely we're happy with how it's going. Was that your first Kickstarter? It was. Uh, it was my first Kickstarter personally and our first Kickstarter as, as a, company. a company. Yeah. Yes. So and, and it did very well. It did 1.5 million that uh, with a $250,000 uh, cap. That's what we were aiming for was $250,000, and we made 1.5 million. I hear Bill Murray will actually be delivering copies <laughs> to people. If we could get a hold of him, that would be great. I would love it. <laughs> have him sign my copy. Yeah. Exactly. Um, we also have our new Attack on Titan vertical board game. Yes. 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 So that, you announced it not too long ago. Not actually. too long ago. No, we uh, picked up the license. We're going to be doing some other games that we haven't quite released the details of yet. But there will be more Attack on Titan games. But right now we're just working on the vertical board game where it is scouts versus the Titan. So one player plays as the Titan, the other players play as the scouts, trying to take down the Titan. And at this point, because it is still very much in playtesting mode, uh, the Titan almost always wins. So very thematically that, accurate. That is true. Um, <laughs> We're working on balancing out a little bit, but it's it's been a lot of fun. I really enjoy playing it. It's been pretty well received, especially since the Titan always wins. I was a little worried, but right. it's it's getting really good reviews, so we're excited about that. What kind of rating, like PG, would PG? you give that? Um, currently, I'd probably give it. It depends on if you'd let your child watch the the anime itself, right, which I don't. You know, okay. <laughs> um, it's a little bit more gruesome. The game itself will just have a Titan and you're rolling dice. So there, it's not going to be too terribly graphic, but the Titans will look like the Titans in the show. So I it, think that's awesome. Yeah, it's, I'm really excited. It, right now, the demo copy is an Aaron Titan, so it looks really, looks really awesome. And he's got, he jump, you, the players will jump from ledge to ledge to try and get up to the neck because that's how you kill a Titan. Really? So in order to kill them, you can do as much damage as you want, but if you're not where you need to be to kill them, you're not going to kill the Titan. So you've got all kinds of little miniature... Yeah, things. right now we're using little meeples um, okay. for stand-ins <laughs> um, until we get the real things. Very much play test copy, but yeah, it's you go from Titan to building, you can jump, you can use cannons swords so there's there's a lot of options there are a lot of options for the titan to kill you too they can eat people and then inevitably throw up that giant ball and just <laughs> destroy everything um they destroy the tower if they kill one of the scouts game over the only way scouts can win is if they kill the titan so it's very very tough so right now are there buildings in it too just one right now okay. it's up to i'm not sure we'll have more at this time it's just the one building and then the titan so you to jump, there are certain areas you have to jump onto the building first before you can go up further the Titan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So very t a lot more tactical than a lot of our other games. Right. Yeah. Right. right. So uh, what else you got going on? Uh, we also just recently received Portal. So I know a lot of people have been waiting for Portal. Portal has been kind of murmured for a really long time. It's the uncooperative cake acquisition game. Uh, <laughs> uh, you the cake is a lie. The cake is a lie. Um, I've been saying that forever. No one ever listened to me. Um, so you play together. It is an uncooperative game. You are trying to kill your other uh, test subjects to see who can win. Um, there's an incinerator. There are cake pieces. So the cake might not be a lie. Um, there are little test subjects and you can, it's a modular board game, so you can kind of change how it sets up. There are portals that you can jump to and from. 
So it's really? yes. I we're, guess you would have to have those. Yeah, really. yeah. In order for it to be a portal game. Right. Um, so we're really excited about that. That should come out uh, around the end of Q3 at the latest, beginning of Q4. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's pretty quick. I yes. Don't, when when did you announce that? I don't even remember. It's been. It was announced probably a year or two ago. It's oh, been. Okay. I've constantly. I was probably get, drinking that. I, one, <laughs> I get requests. When's Portal coming out? When? So it's finally coming out. We have the game. We're just making sure everything works. Everything looks good. It's high quality before we send it to Total Pack out and get it to the distributors. Awesome, awesome. Now, what else are you demoing here? And I know Teen Titans just came out, right? Teen Titans has just come out, as well as the Arrow Crossover Pack 2, which is truly right. a crossover in every sense because it's crossed over from the comic artwork to the live television series. So it's images from the television series Arrow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you've got, you know, Stephen Amell's uh, Oliver Queen. Yes. Um, but Teen Titans is here. We're demoing that. Uh, we're really excited. The promo in the box is Kid Flash. So that's an all first print run boxes. Um, the new kind of wrinkle for that game, we always have a new wrinkle. Uh, before we had ongoing cards that were just locations. That was the only option to have an ongoing card that you'd play it and it would stay out. In Teen Titans, now every card type, superpower, hero, villain, uh, equipment, they all, some not all of the cards, but each type of card has ongoing cards. So you could chain, you could have 10 ongoing cards. I've seen, I've seen it chain and I've seen people, there are other cards that allow you to take away other people's ongoing cards and get rid of them. So you could have this great, fabulous chain set up and someone else can totally just ruin it for you. <laughs> yeah. It's, awesome. Oh yeah. yeah. That, <laughs> it's all about the raffle stomp, like right. just kick them in the, kick them where it hurts, right? <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's it. Definitely changes it up. It makes you think a little differently about your strategy. Oh, that's yeah. cool. I'm glad you're evolving the game. Yes. You, 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 you started. Yeah. It was a pretty base game. Yeah. When it started, it even has like a generic name. Yes. The yes, DC it does. deck building game. Well, at least you know what you're getting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now, are we missing anything? Um, well, a couple of things that aren't here, we're working on them, and we kind of talked about them, I think, a little bit at trade day. Um, but we will be releasing a big box um, Teen Titan, or not Teen Titans, um, deck builder that is 2v2. So that's kind of where we're going oh, with that. Yeah. Okay. We're also doing a Card Wars that is going to be 2v2 four player instead mm -hmm. of a 1v1. Uh, we've got the Fiona and Cake Card Wars coming out next year. Um, there's going to be another crisis pack. There will be some villain themed stuff because that's I get asked that all the time. And uh, so there will be more villains coming out. Um, and then we're going to see another epic spell wars sometime in 2016. So we're really excited about I know. Epic spell, you know, I had a lot of fun playing that. I played it's, the original. Yes. And then the second one just added a couple new mechanics. There was blood as a currency. The standee actually meant something. You, it was good. It was bad. It, there, depending on what card you had, it could either work for you or against you. Um, there were creatures involved, so you had people to defend you. Uh, it was definitely a different game, but still held on to what was great about the original. Uh, Sarah, can yes. you tell me a little about Power Play? Ah, Power Play. So the NHL Power Play. So that was our first kind of dive into taking the Cerberus engine and applying it to sports. Oh, so really? it's technically compatible with DC Deck Builder, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit. You could play them all together, which is really kind of cool. That would but be interesting. I know, right? You got <laughs> got some. Is I just <laughs> thinking about it is making me laugh. Um, but it's very cool. You can attack other players. You can shoot goals. So it's thematically a little bit more in the vein of hockey as opposed to some of the other more fantasy-themed IPs. Right. But um, yeah, we did the NHL. We have promo cards for them that have now appeared out of thin air. Um, so, so yeah, if you guys stop by here or you buy a game, you know, we, we can hand out those promo cards now that we have them. Awesome. Yeah. Sarah, thank you so much for taking a couple of minutes to talk. Thanks for coming by.